Welcome to Monetization Mastery. My name is Paul Dutton. Today, I wanted to give you a further update, a part three on what happened with our recent series, which was talking about how can we lift the Facebook limited originality of content violation by using live streaming, turning your page into a video gaming creator and seeing whether you can get rid of your violations. Now, disclaimer, I've said this before, but this doesn't necessarily work for everybody. I've had a few people comment already to say it has worked. I've had some people say this doesn't work for me. Um, you'll have to check out other videos in the series if you want to understand the details and situations for uh, what seems to work. And I will do a polish up video on all of this later on. Just wanted to share with you a page a couple of pages actually that seem to have had some movement since I did this. So what happened here is um, with this particular page, we had the same problem. So it was a yellow flag page. It's never been monetized by Facebook. And what I wanted to do is see, could I get rid of that limited originality of content flag? So I turned the page to a gaming video creator category. I removed all the other categories from the page settings in Facebook to make sure that we could do that first. And then we went to the live gaming arena and we set up two live streams we're separated by at least 24 hours of time in order to potentially trigger the ability to join the stars program and that worked and we kind of got in we clicked the button we said yes join the stars program we accepted it and then with this page what happened again i've seen this violation before it's called a connected entity violation so this randomly appeared and there was also a limited originality of content flag at the bottom of the page as well a kind of separate section on this screen um now what's happened since i did that last video and shared the results of this and you can check that out in another video is that second flag around limited originality of content specifically has actually disappeared so i applied for the stars program um as, to be honest within a day of applying for it i actually got this red star this violation here which says you can't receive stars now that's because i'd applied to that monetization stream and then facebook decided you can't receive stars because of this connected entity violation so what effectively it's done is it's turned off that revenue stream saying that i've got a red flag violation on the page and i imagine that if this page had originally been set up for in-stream ads to earn money from in-stream ads in videos then i would also see that listed here somewhere however because this page has never been monetized i don't really know um, and i don't know how long these connected entity violations last um, or re really how easy it is to get rid of because i've got tons of pages on facebook um, and i suppose they're all connected to me so does that mean it's me that's the problem i don't know right so i'm not going to worry about it because it was only a test anyway um, over time i expect this may disappear and i may be able to monetize again the important thing here is that there is no limited originality of content violation on this page. Uh, what I have done is I've requested a review to see if there's any monetization issues that can be removed because I find this one quite strange in terms of what it does. So that's one page. The other page that I wanted to share was specifically about exact same scenario I had with another page where I didn't actually apply for the stars program at all. So I followed all the steps, gaming video creator category on the page, two live streams up to four hours in total over two separate days with at least a 24 hour gap between the videos to make sure it flags as two separate days. Uh, and this is another example of a page where after that I just left the page. I think I described this in part two. I said, I'm just gonna leave the page for a while and see what happens. And funnily enough, this did exactly the same thing as the first page that I was successful with. So the monetization breach disappeared, which is a crazy loophole, right? It's still hard to exactly pinpoint what's happened, but one thing I have found is that applying for a monetization stream could potentially put your page back into a limited originality of content state or some other violation if your page has already offended. Now, if you're just kind of up and coming and bringing this up, it doesn't necessarily mean that will happen to you. So it happened to me with the STARS program because I applied for a monetization stream and then immediately Facebook turned it off. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment on this page in particular is I'm scheduling videos. I've got like one a day for the next two weeks uh, and I'm gonna to attempt to try and get to the um, 600,000 um, views target which is not going to be easy because the page has quite a limited following so i'm going to try and do that over time um, just as a kind of background side hobby to see if i can get it monetized and then if i do get it monetized to see what exactly happens does it get flagged with any other form of violation so it seems that there is a way to get rid of it and i suppose if you're complying with facebook's uh, limited originality of content policies um, if your page has been flagged accidentally this is a good way of getting rid of that um, violation but again 
it's not advice to say go and do it and it's also not guaranteed so please don't hate me in the comments if it doesn't work for you it's not worked for me on one or two pages and it's worked for me on some other pages what it does seem is that if you have got a big red violation on your page that stops you from earning there is a possibility that that will still apply and there is little to nothing you can do about that apart from tidying up your page appealing and hoping that you can get that violation lifted um, so that's just an update video i will do a part four on this i'll keep this series going because i'm finding value in doing all these things and i'm also trying things out on different pages to see if i can get those back as well uh, no luck with anything else so far it seems that the yellow flagged pages are the ones to go after and that seems to be where you've got an opportunity to make some money still in the market. So hopefully you found some form of value in the video. If you did, please smash the like button because it helps with the YouTube algorithm and we can share this knowledge with people. Maybe your friends and family who also got Facebook pages who want to know how to get it back and potentially give them an opportunity to earn some money from an otherwise dead rubber page. Um, obviously subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any updates from this. And don't forget to leave me a comment below. I always love answering comments uh, regardless and chatting about Facebook features. Um, and if there's something you'd like me to look at in the future, to cover, to investigate, more than happy to just leave something down in the comments below and I will have a look. With that said, thank you very much for watching this part three of the video series around limited originality content and I will see you in the next video.